Assalamu alaikum, yelchi janoblari. Wa alaikum assalam. Siz bilan Washingtonda suhbatlashib turganimizdan juda ham xursandman. Menda. Hali Toshkentda yana gaplashamiz. Faoliyatingizni endi boshlayapsiz. We know that you just got to, to Uzbekistan, but we are very much interested in your assessment of the current uh, situation in Uzbekistan because you have been watching Uzbekistan for a long time and here at the State Department for, for many years you focused on Central Asia and uh, you also served as a Deputy Assistant uh, Secretary of State, uh, specifically you know, focusing uh, on the region, so we know that you know a lot of things. So thank you so much for agreeing uh, for this conversation. It's my pleasure. This week you had a strategic partnership dialogue here uh, and then we have an energy crisis in Uzbekistan as we speak. We have Karkal Pakistan trials going on in Bukhara and there are other uh, pressing issues that I would like to uh, talk with you about uh, I look today. Forward to it. So let's, let's talk about what happened this week here. We had a large delegation, a rather significant delegation uh, from Tashkent. What are your takeaways from this uh, dialogue? We know that these are annual meetings. What's new about them this year? No, it's a terrific question. Uh, we did have a terrific delegation led by Foreign Minister Norov, uh, but it included the, the Justice Minister and many others as well, many other uh, people who've worked for many years on U.S.-Uzbek relations. Uh, I've participated in a number of these dialogues, but the, qualitatively, this dialogue felt different to me. Uh, it was really, we, first of all, we covered a huge range of issues. Uh, in addition to bilateral relations, we talked about security, we talked about regional issues, we had a human dimension dialogue, economic issues, but really the tone of the conversations was really much more candid and open uh, than uh, in many of the dialogues that I've participated in, in the past. And so I think it's, a, it's an indication that uh, our relations you know, continue to get stronger and stronger. Yet it is quite exclusive because when you used to have annual bilateral consultations, we used to see non-governmental organizations also coming in, their representatives participating in these discussions. But now, with these enhanced uh, talks, it's really government to government, right? No, the annual bilateral consultations never formally included non-governmental organizations, although we have often used the occasions Experts. of the ABCs or the SPDs to be able to have uh, those types of dialogue on the margins but uh, unfortunately you're right this week uh, we I know we did have a number of other conversations you know with I know that the delegation had a number of meetings on the hill I know they visited uh, the Bush school for example uh, and so we definitely encourage them to engage directly with civil society as well but when you, these full day conversations were just government to government. The nature of these discussions ha has, been, has always been and continues to be government to government talks. So based on them, what would you say are the top mutual uh, priorities at this point? You know, it's hard to boil it down. I will say that um, one of the, the techniques that we used during these talks was to say, hey, let's come up with a short list of priorities that we can exchange <laughs> for the coming year. But it's very hard to keep it to a short list. It ends up being longer. <laughs> <laughs> it gets long and longer. Certainly, you know, the nature of our relationship hasn't changed. As you know, we've always supported Uzbekistan's sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity. But I think as we see the relationship deepening, there, there are opportunities to go deeper. And one of the things that I told President Mirzoyev and uh, that I firmly believe is that we really need to work more to expand our commercial and trade relationship and to help Uzbekistan develop economically because I think an economically prosperous Uzbekistan is a more independent Uzbekistan. And, and that really will, I think, in the long run, help U.S. interests as well. And that is more relevant than ever now. You have your own priorities, uh, obviously in line with these priorities that we've been you know, talking about as, as the U.S. ambassador uh, in Tashkent. What will be some of the, uh, I guess, biggest spheres or most important spheres for you as you start your assignment there? Yeah, I think the three big areas, as I mentioned, were certainly economic commercial relationship. Uh, of course, we want to continue to support President Mirzoyev's reform uh, agenda, and so certainly on a broad area of political reforms, I think we have a lot of work to do. And then finally, I think uh, also on the security relationship, there's room for enhanced military-to-military uh, -military and partnership and a deeper security relationship as well, mm -hmm. as we work together to combat issues like 
uh, you know, terrorism and you know, narcotics trade and, and to work to enhance uh, Uzbekistan's border security. So to clarify then, human rights issues, civil society issues will be under the reform? Yes. The priority? And then Afghanistan will be under security, right? Is that how uh, If you, you choose to do it, but you're right, certainly Afghanistan was a major topic of discussion this week here in Washington.